And I'm live now. Wow, that's different for me. So we have a new interim uh, acting commissioner. His name is Ned Sharpless. He's a doctor. I'm going to share the screen. I don't know if I can even share the screen. Thing. <laughs> Something new. Anyway, I guess I can. I don't know. Can I share a screen? I don't know if I can share a screen on, on these automatic live. I won't be here too long. Let me see if I can pull this up on my uh, on my screen as far as you guys in chat. Yes, here we go. All right, all right. I don't know what any of you guys watching or not. Doesn't matter. Um, I just want to let you know they do have a um, interim uh, uh, acting commissioner. His name is Ned Sharpless. I spoke about him earlier, and I actually stated that in regards to an actual permanent commissioner, um, he will probably be one that will be the actual FDA commissioner <clears throat> in, in the future. And he will probably be confirmed by the Senate in the future. So he's uh, in the wake of, like it says on here, um, National Cancer Institute Chief. Now I was just doing a whole thing about the National Cancer Institute and um, in these uh, Will You Wind Up on This Channel Award of 2019. So uh, since October 2017, uh, Dr. Sharpless served as director of the National Cancer Institute and before that worked as a researcher and hematologist and on. Oh, I can't do that. Oncologist, I guess, at the University of North Carolina. He is also co-founder of G1 Therapeutics, a biotech firm focused on cancer treatment therapies that went public in May 2017. He may have to recuse himself of that. Uh, Dr. Sharpless is a temporary appointment with Secretary Azir saying that the search is on for a permanent candidate for the position according to New York Times. But it would not surprise me that he does wind up being a permanent commissioner. He says the change comes at a time for the e-cigarette industry in particular, which has been a focal point for Commissioner Gottlieb as vaping continues to grow in popularity among teens. Gottlieb has enforced new rules for the industry and promised to keep a close watch on youth use of these products and the companies that sell them. Gottlieb praised the appointment. Whether or not an acting commissioner will be able to push forward initiatives related to the tobacco, tobacco industry uh, is unclear. And look at that. Look at that. Jen, I love these statistics and all you dumb assholes out there. Altria shares fell on the news. They fell. They told you. I told you in the other video, they're going to go down. They'll go back up a little bit again, but they're going to go down. They plummeted. Look at that. I, I don't know how, why I can't, why I can't uh, share a screen here, but I, it's, I don't know how to share a screen when you just go live, you know, won't be on here very long. You'll see this on the replay then, but Ultria stocks literally dropped. Let me pull up Ultria stock. Look at that. It went down uh, in the minus 0 0.26. It plummeted 0 0.46%. 0 it was, the old, at the time, the peak was at 56.26%. And then it plummeted to 55.37. I mean, it didn't go down too much, but it did go down. Because Ned Sharpless, and I've talked about him just, just lightly in that other video. Even though he says, well, we're continuing to, Secretary Azir is saying, well, we're continuing to look for this other commissioner to be the permanent commissioner. This guy can very well become the commissioner. And if that is the case... This guy, 
You're going to wish you had Gottlieb in place. He is very, very, very anti-tobacco, very, very anti-vaping. This guy's from the Nans uh, uh, from the National Cancer Institute. It comes under the National Institutes of Health. It comes directly under the United States Department of Health and Human Services Department. This is a very, very serious matter for vaping because he's going to come down hard. Now, it could take some time before they actually get someone that will actually become the permanent commissioner. But it will happen eventually. Got to get in the habit of looking into the camera. Take a vape. The thing is, is it's going to take some time for them to look for this permanent commissioner or if Ned Sharpless does a very good job at it as an acting or interim uh, FDA commissioner, he can very well be the one that is picked by um, President Donald John Trump to become the permanent commissioner. Uh, for OU vapors out there that had any uncertainty in the in the marketplace, let alone in the so-called vaping community, you're gonna wish you had Gottlieb in place because this guy is mean. I mean mean. M E A N underlined explanation marks on both sides of the word, italic and bold lettering. This guy is one mean son of a bitch. He's gonna let the vaping industry have it. He is not only going to continue with the little tiny steps that Gottlieb played around with in the last few weeks, but he's going to augment it to the nth degree. It's going to get super duper mean. Anyway, I'll put up another video after this live stream here to explain exactly who this Ned Sharpless is and what is what is his ties and what is his value system. And you're going to wish you had Gottlieb in place. Oh, you assholes out there that talked against Gottlieb, you should be ashamed of yourself. You're going to wish that you didn't crap all over August 8th of 2022. You're going to wish you never did that. This guy Sharpless is going to be a big pain. He's not going to be Sharpless. He's going to be sharp right up your ass. This guy is going to be a mean son of a bitch. Anyway, uh, I see someone just popped up. Um, I don't know who's in text. Someone's watching. But anyway, the point is, is you'll see the replay. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna end this um, stream right now. But I wanted to, uh, you know, um, this is the first live stream that actually went out in regards to this interim uh, acting uh, FDA commissioner. Like I said, I'll put up a follow-up um, video and break it all down for you in a moment. It'll take me about an hour to put together. And then I'll then I'll then I'll, put, I'll upload it and you'll watch it. Anyway, I'm gonna end this, but you'll have it for on replay. Anyway, you guys have a good one. Bye bye.